Hi, Clay Daniel with Claiborne Test Prep and Tutoring. I've got an interesting CLT geometry question for you here. So let's take a look. It says for triangle ABC, the measure of angle A is 60 degrees and the measure of angle B is 90 degrees. I'll go ahead and put those in there. Use our little box for a right angle. Triangle DEF is similar to triangle ABC and the length of the hypotenuse of DEF is 14. The hypotenuse must be the longest side. What is the length of the shortest side of triangle DEF? And as we look at the choices, we notice that we have a couple of different options. A couple of them have a square root of three. One does not. And then we've got the possibility that there's not enough information, which is sometimes the right answer to a CLT question. But we need to really mine the information and dig in here to, to see if there is in fact enough information. And if we pay attention to the clues, we'll find that there are a couple of hints in the question. We have the very important word similar. We also have the word hypotenuse, which is only used of right triangles. So there's actually two reasons why we can put a little box right here at angle E as well. The first is that these two triangles are similar. Similar triangles have congruent corresponding angles. The way that these triangles are drawn and the way that they are labeled from A, B, C to D, E, F, the first letters must, must correspond. So A and D must be the same. B and E must be the same, and then C and F must be the same, which we'll address in a moment, the same measure, I should say. Now, the other thing though, hypotenuse, that's only spoken of right triangles, and then similar triangles uh, give us the two 90 degrees there. So to, to kind of bring together those two clues, we know that angle E is a right angle, and the triangle DEF is a right triangle as well. Now with a geometry problem like this, if the figure is not provided, you always want to draw it out on your scratch paper. Even if it is provided, you usually want to draw it out since you can't notate the figure on the screen itself. So we've got the triangles here. We've noted something about the similar, the, the implications of them being similar, that their angles are equal. And if we remember that the sum of the angles of a triangle at up to 180 degrees. We'll be able to assess what the third angle of each triangle is. You may have gotten there already. And you may notice that we have here a special right triangle. Now, if you look at the beginning of each CLT section in the online practice test, or if you've taken the CLT and had the official experience of, of taking it, you may recall that certain formulas are given to you at the beginning of the quantitative reasoning section. One of them is the ratio of the sides of a 30, 60, 90 triangle, that the ratio is one to root three to two, or sometimes written as X to X square root of three to two X. Now, even though that's given to you in the CLT, Almost every student we've worked with has had difficulty finishing the quantitative reasoning section on time. So you have to find ways to streamline your approach to that math section. And one way is to know these formulas automatically and not have to scroll up to see them. So it's a good challenge for you if you don't remember the ratios of a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. But once we know it's a 30, 60, 90, we have more information. We know that the hypotenuse of the triangle, according to the ratio, is equal to 2x. x, x root 3, 2x. Longest side is 2x. Longest side is 14. So it must be the case that x equals 7. Now remember that the shortest side is labeled x. Well, how do we know which one is the shortest side? Is it de or is it ef? It's going to be the one across from the smallest angle. 
angles in triangles and really in all polygons determine the length of their opposite side. The larger the angle, the larger the side across from it. So we know that this side is x in the ratio, and this is x square root of 3. But remember, we know what x is. So we have found our answer. The combination of similarity, giving us equal corresponding angles, and the special right triangle of the 30, 60, 90 led us to understand that the length of the shortest side of triangle DEF is 7.